Hi guys, as promised, we're back with a little bit more content for you. Today, I'm gonna be going over some cartwheel lessons. We're gonna start off with the little ones, twos and threes, uh, trying to get them to learn just the basic concept of the cartwheel, jumping their body around from one side to the other. Um, and then we're gonna move up to like four and five year olds showing how the progression goes from two and three up to four and five. And then beyond that, we'll kind of go into a little bit more depth on proper technique and form for cartwheels if you're six, seven, eight, nine, working on your cartwheel, trying to get that round off for maybe cheerleading or tumbling classes or whatever. So Aubrey's with me my designated demonstrator of quarantine. And she's gonna start off by showing us um, how she learned a cartwheel. So this mat, this panel mat that we have, is a little bit tall for maybe like your two or three year old, but proportionally, it's good for Aubrey. So any kind of little block that you guys might have, even putting your hands on a pillow and working on jumping their body over, just something so that they have a visual that their feet have to go over from one side to the other side. So Aubrey, show us, come over on this side. <laughs> All right, so show us, stand up on your feet, hands down on the mat. Show us how you learned your cartwheel, hands down sideways on the mat and then they're just gonna jump their feet over. Yep, again, just go back and forth a little bit. Uh-huh, okay. So she already has a favorite foot. We already know that she's a lefty, but if you have someone who's two, three years old, maybe they're four or five and just haven't chosen a favorite foot yet, show them how you're gonna go back and forth, Aubrey. So, no, just like a, your little hop over the mat, turn your hands, jump over, now don't move your hands, you're gonna jump back over the other direction, back over this way, okay? So if they don't know which side they wanna do, let them go back and forth, see if they have a side that's better, one that they look better at, one that they like more, um, and then you guys can start to stick with that side. So like I said, with little twos and threes, you're just working on trying to jump over that block. Then you're gonna have them put that favorite foot in front and then they're gonna try and kind of hop one foot at a time. So they're gonna hop their back foot over first. Back foot lands in front. Show us. This one lands <laughs> yep. behind. No, that one, oh, no, in front. in front. Okay, so try again. I'll do the explaining. So she's gonna start in a little bit more of a lunge. She's gonna pick up her back foot, hop that around, and that foot is gonna land in front. So if she's a lefty, her right foot has to land first. Okay, come back over to this side. Cartwheel. All right, so now we're gonna move on a little bit more advanced. Stand up, arms up. And you're gonna show us your cartwheel over the mat again. But we aren't gonna work on kicking our legs straight over our head yet. We want them to get comfortable again, going around moving from one side of the mat to the other side, and just trying to hop that body over, getting that support on their arms. Good. Here, even if the cartwheel isn't great, we're gonna try and start to work on, come over, always start on this side for me. Always start on this side. Okay. okay. So we're gonna try and get them to always work on starting in a nice tall lunge, their favorite foot in front, and their arms hiding their ears. Then, hands go on the mat, hop around, good, and landing, don't worry about the camera, Aubrey, just worry about the cartwheel, okay? Landing in a lunge, hiding their ears again. Walk around, try again. So remember, whatever foot they start with, they have to land with the opposite foot in front. Sometimes, go ahead and show us, Aubrey. Sometimes that's a little bit tricky for them. So what I usually do is I'll put like a bracelet around one ankle or a stamp on a foot so they know which foot to look for to land first. Okay, one more. Don't see you here. So remember hiding their ears. Hop over, 
Landing with the other foot in front, arms always hiding those ears. All right, so now we're gonna move on. Ow! Sorry. All right, now we're gonna learn, scoot off the mat for a second. Flipping over? Nope, I'm just sliding it so it's right in front of the camera. Okay, stand up on the mat. Okay. So now this is where we're gonna get into making sure that that cartwheel is with proper form and proper technique. We want them to kick straight through a handstand. We want them to be all the way upside down with their legs straight and a nice big straddle. Okay, so this is the shape we're looking for in the middle of the cartwheel. Go ahead and come down. There we go. So we always tell the kids to kick over the top. Make sure you're kicking straight upside down and over your head. We're always starting with tall, tight arms hiding your ears, kicking over in a nice big straddle with straight legs. Then we turn our hips and then put that bad foot down first. Okay, try again. Arms starting where? Yeah, we gotta glue our feet to the floor because I told you don't worry about the camera, okay? Tall, squeeze, Ow. hide those ears, kick straight over your head, turn <laughs> those hips in the middle, put your bad foot down first, and arms never leave your ears. Try again. Good. Go ahead and lunge. They can either start, go ahead and show me straight leg again. They can either start like this or bending that knee Make sure, though, when you kick up, bend this knee. This is so tired. <laughs> okay. Aubrey, if, okay, so here's a problem we're having. If Aubrey's looking over here at the camera, look at where her belly is facing now. Where do you want your belly button to face when you start your cartwheel? Uh-huh, so remember, don't worry about the camera. Worry about that hurt. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, ready? Good. Now, bring, make sure they're bringing this back leg up. Go ahead, go ahead. As they're reaching their arms down. Hide your ears. Uh-huh, we wanna be in a T right here, okay? So make sure you go. The lipstick got on your hand. <laughs> My lipstick. <laughs> yes, that's why you don't wear makeup in gymnastics. So belly button facing straight forward. That's really important to start. Then, Hiding the ears, and then their back leg has to kick really hard up and over. Turn the hips in the middle, and arms stay by your ears at the end. Okay. A lot of times we tell them with their hands, they should be parking the car in the garage. So if I put my first hand down like this, I'm going to park my second hand like this, like a car parking in a garage. Okay, that'll make sure that you're turning your body. My first hand goes sideways, but my lefty, like Aubrey is, I'm gonna put my first hand facing this way. Watch out, Aubrey. And then my second hand is gonna come around this way. Okay, so we're like this. Okay, try again, Aubrey. Do a couple more. Stand up, walk to the end. And arms up, belly button facing which direction? Look at where your foot's pointing. <laughs> That's not the direction we want to go. There we go. Now, your first hand's going to go this way, and your second hand has to turn in. Okay? Can you do that? Okay. Bring your back leg up, turn your second hand in. Good. Big split. Turn your hips, and arms up by your ears. There, that was better. Uh-uh, what are your arms doing? So tight. Squeeze. Good. Let's show them one more. Arms up tall and tight. Toes and belly button facing forward. Back leg has to come off the floor right away. Hands park like a car in the garage. Turn your hips. Bad foot. Arms up. Lunge. Tall and tight. All in tight. Get that belly in. <laughs> All 
All right, we obviously still have some shapes to work on, but I hope that was helpful for you guys to learn kind of from the bottom to the top how you should be doing a cartwheel. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye.